the Reverend Mary Kara, and this is a great day for Reverend Mary Kara and for Caress Unity Center of African Spirituality. Reverend Mary Kara is getting a, a square named after him today. Mm -hmm. And that square is on the corner of 78th Place and Western. So that is going to be named, I think, the Reverend Mary Kara Square. And that is wonderful because what Mary Kara did is he established Caress Unity Center of African Spirituality. And the center was existing, but he took it. And he brought his love, he brought his compassion, he brought his personality to the center, and he brought African principles to the center. African principles of spirituality, um, maya, truth, justice, righteousness, and so forth and, and, and so on. What I think a lot of us know about Reverend Mary Kara is that I rarely seen him come up with a word or a phrase that wasn't positive. I think everybody sees that he's full of love, he's full of compassion, and I had a chance to recently see Reverend Mary Kara, and I just said that people would come to him all the time, ask for advice, ask for guidance. So, so technically, if he didn't have to sleep, enough people would come to him 24 hours a day asking for his advice and, and, and his guidance. I really love working with the Rev on the radio program on Inner Visions. We had various hosts of, of Inner Visions and he, uh, he called all of us his co-hosts. So Karaba was, was a co-host, um, Tepra was a co-host, Reverend Amadi was a co-host, Brother Akil was a co-host, Sister Kamaya was a co-host, and I was a co-host at, at various times. And that radio program was, was great. I got a lot of learning from that radio program. We had great guests on that radio program. And, and Rev and brought great guests. Um, Sister Mata G, who has Eagle Wings of Enlightenment, brought great guests. Guests from, from, from India. One guest that I remember was Yug Purush. And Yug Purush came and he shared with us a lot of Indian values, Indian spirituality. And we started at like 11 to midnight. So that was our time slot at first, 11 to midnight. And then KPFK decided to put us in prime time. So they put us in prime time from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And that was great, because the Rev and I had a chance and all our co-hosts to be prime time, and that was wonderful. Another great guest that we had was Maladoma Somme. Maladoma Somme talked about the spirituality, talked about the Dogon people, talked about the little short people living underground, and he talked about his training as a Dogon initiate, really. So we had guests such as that on Inner Visions. Um, we had another guest, Mark Charlton Davis. He lives in Hawaii now, and he talked about another aspect of, of spirituality. And Revan, let me talk a little bit about Ethiopian history sometimes. And we had guests from some of our suppliers, Ethiopian Airlines, and, and, and they were there. We talked about Colonel John Robinson. So that is what I, one thing that I really love, besides coming to our center here, coming to Crest Unity and, and African Spirituality. So I'm, I'm glad whoever was able to come to this event in person on this Sunday. And those who are looking on Zoom, I'm happy that you were able to look on Zoom because the Reverend is, is a wonderful man. And, and that compassion, that love, that interaction, fellow and person to person, we hope that continues in the center. And, and, and we hope we learn from, from Rev's example. So Rev, I love you. Thank you. And, and I'm just so happy that you were in my life. And, and we had a great, you know, almost 20 years um, being together and, and then being on a radio program in the visions. I'm a Saganalu.